John Bailey video five. I had no idea there'd be this many videos on how to start a new chapter. This one. Okay, you've got the location, you got the leadership, you got a place that has food, you got a nice meeting room, it's free. How do you get people to the first meeting? Well, here's from experience. You gotta find an issue or something that you can attract people with. And the easiest ones, there's two topics that really blind people are very interested in as a group. First one, transportation. That's all I need to say about that, transportation. Make your first program about transportation. If there's a problem, we did this with, I think, the Richmond chapter uh, many years ago. We had a, a meeting, a kickoff meeting, and we wanted to get as many people as possible. And we actually wanted to minimize the word NFB in there because that could be a really intimidating, putting off for people who don't know us, don't understand us yet. So we'd like put that at the bottom of any flyer hosted by the NFB of Richmond. Uh, but we had a transportation seminar. Their issue was they needed better bus transportation. They had a a bus system that almost went as far as they needed. But that little last piece, people felt really strongly that the blind people needed that little last piece of bus transportation that wasn't there. So we got a lot of people in and we used their names, we got their contact information, and we worked together to help make that change. But it was also a good rallying cry for getting people together, blind people together, to come and solve a problem. To People got excited because they go, they're really frustrated. Where can they turn to? How can they make a change? Oh, there's this group who's going to work on transportation. That's something I feel strongly about. I want to check this out. I'm going to go to their meeting. That's the first one. Have a topic on transportation. Some transportation issue in your area. Second one, technology. I'm a nerd. I am just I fall for that. I love technology and stuff. Have a technology seminar. And Fairfax Chapter has a lot of good luck doing uh, stuff on the iPhone. There's an irony. iPhone, the most visual, visual operating system around, touch, screen, you think, however, how could a blind people use it? It is so accessible. It is so powerful. It is such a useful tool. Blind people really want to know how to get the most out of their technology. Have a technology fair. It doesn't have to be just an iPhone. It could be all sorts of stuff. With the Prince William chapter, we did a kickoff with a low technology, or maybe it was low vision or broader than that, a technology fair. We had lots of volunteers. We had closed circuit TVs. We had talking things. We had all sorts of stuff. Vendors like uh, Freedom Scientific and other ones love these. Anytime they have an opportunity to show off their wares, they're with you. So you've got content. It's just a matter of organizing it and promoting it. Come to our technology fair for low vision and you could advertise that in all the clo closed circuit radio reading services, lots of places, especially if you live in a smaller area. Here's where I kind of envy smaller towns and like that. I'm in kind of Washington. Unless I'm running for president and I say something really obnoxious, that never happens. I'm not going to get, newspapers are not going to pay any attention to me. But if you live in a smaller area, not in the D.C. area, not in that area of influence, you've got great access to the news media. They need, they love local stories. Become a local stories. Help people. Promote it that way. You will get coverage. You will get people at your first meeting. So in order to have a really successful first meeting kickoff and to get lots of names of people who could be potential uh, future members, do an event that will attract people. First one is uh, not technology, it is transportation. Do something on transportation. Big issue for the blind people. If you want to make a change, uh, Everybody knows if you work as a group, you are much more powerful, much more able to influence. 
Second one, technology. Technology is really crucial, essential, of great interest to blind people. Have something where they can learn to do something better. Find out about the latest gizmo. Technology companies love to show off their wares. You've got uh, a formula for success there. So, now we've got a location and we've got uh, transportation figured out, we've got food figured out, we've got our meeting figured out, and we've got our first meeting figured out. Congratulations. The next video is not one I'm really excited about telling you about. It's, okay, John, you started all these chapters. Where are they now? I'll be right back with you with the next video.